Hello, my name is uh, Robert J. Moore. Uh, people know me as Bobby. Uh, January 3rd of uh, 2009, I was in a motor vehicle accident in which I was flung 120 feet from the car. Uh, after 14 days of uh, uh, drug-induced coma, I woke up and they told me I wasn't going to walk again. However, they didn't know my resolve. Uh, it's not my intention to be strapped down in a chair or I have a lot of fun with the word cripple. Uh, because I am crippled, I can say the word crippled. Um, I did uh, 14 days <clears throat> of inpatient therapy, and they taught me how to be crippled. I uh, didn't care much for that at all. Uh, after that, after being home for two or three months, I uh, I done some. We had a home health nurse come out and do some at-home physical therapy with me, in which I learned how to transfer. Uh, after that, I'd, I'd done a little bit more therapy, and I got up, and I was able to fight my way around on a walker. Um, shortly after that, I was given uh, quite a few exercises uh, that I'd done diligently for at least three and a half months and didn't get anything out of. I'd become disgusted with myself and the situation and pretty much had given up for quite some time. I. Uh, I don't believe I made it off the side of the road by accident. I've never been a lucky person. And uh, I don't believe that I just happened upon the Quest to Walk website. Um, <coughs> so I contacted uh, some people at Quest to Walk and uh, they pretty much told me, come on. You know, they, they really felt like they could do quite a bit for me. <clears throat> now, I may have approached the situation maybe a little bit unrealistically because I always expect great things for myself. Now, I haven't, you know, I'm not doing cartwheels and backflips, but I have gained at least a half inch in all of my movements, and I've done that in two weeks. So if I had to come here first, I'd probably be, you know, walking around fine. Uh, these days I'm still on a stick but uh, I'm doing better. Uh, I have a incomplete uh, T7 and T8, and uh, I don't know, I just, uh, I, I really feel like I, I wasted a lot of time with people that didn't know anything about spinal cord injuries that claimed that they did. And uh, that's not what you're gonna find here. These people, I mean, it is what it says. These people are spinal cord injury specialists. There's not anyone here that's not a spinal cord injury patient. You're not going to be, you know, watching 65-year-old people that are learning to walk again because they got their hip replaced and, and wondering why they're around you. Um, I'm from Searcy, Arkansas, and uh, we drove, I guess, right around 400 miles to get up here and do this. And I, again, I reiterate, I, I really wish I'd have done it sooner. Uh, I feel like I wasted a lot of time with people that just didn't know any better. What would you like to um, tell people that are in your position that um, feel like they, you know, they've been given this um, no sense of hope and there's, you know, stick with just whatever you're doing? Um, you can't ever quit. Um, uh, the, I mean, I've, I've had a saying since I was, you know, 13 or 14 years old, you get out of stuff what you put into it. Now, a woman told me when I first woke up, she said, you know, you're not going to get everything back just because you work hard. If, if you did, then she wouldn't have a job. And that makes sense, but in the same aspect, you don't want to not work hard just because you're not getting anything back. You know, I, I, I didn't do something or not, any, hardly anything for at least three months, and I feel like I paid the price for it. I'm not very flexible when I showed up. You know, there's a lot of things that I had to overcome that I shouldn't have had to overcome when I showed up. And then that was that was my fault for sitting around. And uh, I, I just don't ever quit. You can't quit. If you, I mean, if you start thinking about quit, you got to find something to fight for. You know, in my case, I've got I've got three little kids and an old lady, and I need to get back to work. I hate cashing that check that I didn't earn, 
I mean, that was the hardest, the hardest part of me signing that piece of paper saying I was disabled was knowing that someone was going to send me a check that I didn't earn. And uh, I just, I, I really want to get back to work. And I feel like I get, I get closer every day that I get up and do something. 